क्या होता है एक इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है जब ये यहाँ ऐसे रखा होगा करेक्ट तो ये जो हमारा लेफ्ट कोस्टल मार्जिन है राइट कोस्टल मार्जिन विल नॉट बी टचिंग दिस वाई स्पेस बॉडी And if you put a stethoscope here, what you find is there is a hollow structure, so that will create a tympanic tone, a resonant sound. Resonant sound. This is important to auscultate. Now, in cases of splenomegaly and spleen, you know it lies here in the loins. It lies behind the stomach, along to the ninth and then eleventh ribs. The longitudinal axis of the spleen is along to the tenth rib. So in case if spleen enlarges, the spleen of megaly is there. So spleen actually grows gradually along its longitudinal axis. Means spleen grows along to the axis of the tenth rib, and it crosses here the coastal margin, and then even it reaches approaches towards the umbilicus. That is the part of the spleen of megaly. So if you put a stethoscope here now in such a condition, there will be no resonance. There will be no dipanic noise. Spleenomegaly is one thing. Another thing is because if you see the coastal margin under to the diaphragm attached, and over to the diaphragm is the left the lung left. covered by the parietal pleura. And if there is pleural effusion on the left side, so this is space you will find there is fluid deposited. Then also you will not find that tympanic node here. That's why this space has an importance, and this space is called trophic space. Right. This is the trabeus space. It has a clinical significance for uh, diagnosing with the means of auscultation, diagnosing the spleenomegaly or the left pleural effusion. Trabeus space.